Hey guys, welcome back. So we are doing a little bit different of a video, at least for my channel, than I've ever done before. I mean, I know people do these all the time, but like I've never done them, so it's different. Recently, I kind of decided that I was gonna go through and declutter my entire makeup collection. I mean, I have way too much stuff and then I keep buying stuff so I have no space. It's like a whole thing. So I wanted to wait and do a YouTube video on it. But the other day I just got really impatient and just started cleaning and decluttering stuff. I mean, all I've done so far are eyeshadow palettes, but I still wanted to make a video about the palettes. So I decided since I already went through and decluttered everything, why not just tell you guys what I decluttered and why I decluttered it. I still have them here, but like as soon as I finish making this video, they're, they're on their way out. Usually when I declutter eyeshadow palettes, especially, I kind of give them to Mama Danger, let her pick out whatever she likes. She is very much like the opposite of me. She likes very neutral eyes, very, very neutral. I mean, like if it's not brown, like she's not interested. Maybe sometimes a gray if she's going to like a party. And then I also have some friends who really like makeup. My grandma also really likes makeup. So I kind of just give them away as long as they're not like disgustingly expired, which some of these things are so some of these things are not going to other people but we'll, we'll talk about it you know we'll talk about it i just have to give this disclaimer in every single video that i'm doing where i am not talking like 100 percent highly of something i know that everybody has different preferences everybody has different tastes something that i'm decluttering here that i never use that i don't like you probably like you could be obsessed with it, it could be your favorite eyeshadow palette of all time everybody has different tastes i know that my tastes are definitely not for everybody so I wouldn't get offended if you were talking about something that I really like, just like you shouldn't get offended if I talk about something that you really like, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab whatever is there first, whatever I grab, like I'm not doing it in any type of order. So the first thing that I grabbed is a Jeffree Star palette. This is the Thirsty palette. I got like eyeliner or mascara or some, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't come with a black dot. It usually looks like that. This is what it looks like on the inside. I am like 99.9% .9 positive I use this like twice when it came out i kind of knew i didn't love the color story but i picked it up anyways i do this all the time and i'm trying to get better at it but i'm failing i don't think the formula in here is bad at all i mean i've only used it a handful of times so i i really don't have any opinion on the formula in here but usually jeffree star's formula i feel like it's pretty consistent this is just not my color story and i know it looks like it because of what i've got going on in my eyes today but i swear it's not i do like warm colors i do like pops of color but i just feel like these colors together are a little strange and i don't really know what to like what to do with this and these colors i think they're all beautiful but because these colors are a little bit deeper i feel like we needed some deeper crease shades outer v shades and we didn't really get that like this is the deepest color here and that's like for me that's like not even deep so I think for that reason, I never used it. And because I never really used it, I, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Like it's just sitting there and I know I'm not gonna use it. So I'm just, she, she's, she's gotta go. The next eyeshadow palette that I'm getting rid of is by Ace Beauté. I think that's how you say it. This is the Flare palette. This is the only eyeshadow palette that I have from this brand. So this is what the inside of the Flare palette looks like. These colors are gorgeous. This is my color story. Very different from the Thirsty palette. This like is exactly the kind of color story that I'm looking for. They look beautiful, but I felt like they were a little bit powdery and I felt like they didn't have as much pigmentation as I would have liked them to. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of it and also because I don't ever use it. But if these eyeshadows were like super pigmented, I would be obsessed with this. Like I, I probably wouldn't be able to put this down because this is like exactly the kind of palette that I would go for. Like all these colors and warm tones. Like this is like a fall ass palette, tell me not. But I just didn't really love the formula in here. And I know a lot of people really love this palette. So I'm curious if you guys have this palette, how do you feel about it? How do you feel it performed? Um, is there another Ace Beauté palette that I need to give a try? Because like I said, this is the only one that I have. So I'm not saying their formula is bad in general. I just didn't really like it in this palette. I feel really bad for this next one, mostly because I'm getting rid of it for the exact same reason that I got rid of the Ace Beauté palette. These are the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Eyeshadow Palettes Volume 1 and 2. So this one is Volume 1. This is obviously the first one that I got. This is what the inside looks like. I, I mean, again, this kind of reminds me of that Ace Beauté palette, but obviously it has only eight shades, so it's a little less variety. And then this one is volume two. It's blue on the outside, has foundation on it. Oh, my makeup is disgustingly dirty. Please don't judge me. This is what the inside of this one looks like. It's a little bit more of like a nighttime kind of a situation. So here's what's that. This one I literally never used. 
literally never used. This I kind of knew was not my like favorite color story. It's got some pretty nice colors and it's half shimmer, half matte, which I can definitely get down with. But I don't know how much I like these eyeshadows together, if that makes sense. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's a little strange, the colors that are chosen for these eight eyeshadows. I do love this color selection. I think this is like freaking stunning. I love all the colors, all of them. They're just beautiful. But again, I don't really love the eyeshadow formula here. I feel like they're not as pigmented as I would want them to be, which is also just like a me thing. I know a lot of people don't like their eyeshadows to be like super pigmented right off the bat. A lot of people like it when their eyeshadows are like buildable so you don't have to spend like five hours of blending out something that you just like tapped on your eye. But I personally don't mind spending a little extra time blending because I like a more aggressively pigmented eyeshadow and these just kind of weren't that for me. These two blue eyeshadows really, I think, were like the stars of this palette. I think these two performed the best, but these mattes down here, I don't feel like they performed really that well at all and I'm a matte eyeshadow kind of a girl. So the next eyeshadow palette I'm pulling out, I actually have a tutorial with this palette. I'll link it up here. It's pretty old. You can see my hair is like non-existent. Well, I mean, that's not that old. My hair was not existent like last year. But this is the Time Los Angeles Pink Infatuation eyeshadow palette. It's obviously pink. This eyeshadow palette I used for that Valentine's Day tutorial and then literally never used it again. So <laughs> I feel like I don't need to keep this in my collection. I mean, the colors are nice if this is like your color scheme. I like pink eyeshadow. I just don't know that I like these kind of pink eyeshadows like this kind of pink eyeshadow i like these more mauve tones i'm like uh, i know a lot of people really like that i don't i'm not really like a mauve eyeshadow lover i mean i'll wear it from time to time but it's not like my go-to thing if that makes sense so i didn't really you know i never really played with this besides in that one video i don't know i'm just such a big fan of time los angeles as a brand and ashley wagner who is the ceo the owner i'm not sure what her role is, but she's definitely the owner or the founder or something. I don't know. I love her. I love her makeup style. I love her just in general. I think she's like so gorgeous and her makeup is so good. So I was excited to see that they came out with this eyeshadow palette. Oh, and I love their brushes. I love everything from them pretty much. Just not really this eyeshadow palette, but everything else. Next thing that I'm pulling out is from Morphe and it's hella dusty, hella dusty Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 35R palette. I feel like they don't even do this packaging anymore, do they? This is what the inside of this palette looks like. It's stupid neutral and i just i just question everything about myself like why did i buy this why why did i buy this i literally never used it literally untouched maybe jacqueline hill used it in a video and i was like whoa that is so cute and then i bought it and like why why the formula in here is not even great i mean morphola morphola what the the morphe formula in general especially in these like kind of packaging it's not the best thing in the world. I do have some other Morphe palettes that I obviously am keeping. I have a whole bunch of Morphe palettes to be honest with you. And I am keeping like a good amount of them. But this one, I just like, what was the point of that? I feel my mom will probably be obsessed with this though. Obsessed. So I'm very excited. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated to see if she picks this one. Another neutral eyeshadow palette. And um, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. All my palettes are so dirty. Can you see how freaking nasty this is? It's so dirty. This is what the inside of this palette looks like. I did use this palette. Um, I wouldn't say like a whole bunch of times, but enough times that it was more than once. That, that already counts. More than once is like enough times for me. I did like this palette. I did use it. I feel like the formula in here is good enough. It's definitely not my favorite formula in the entire world, but I think it's good enough. Like I'm not... You know, I'm not upset at the formula. I just feel like I never grabbed this palette. I also feel like these two shades down here, they're like pops of color, but they're so random to me. Like, what am I gonna do with that? I feel like I just don't understand like what the point of them are, is, what the point of them is, because like, what am I gonna do with that? The next palette I'm pulling out is by Morphe. Oh my God. This one is actually not an eyeshadow palette, but it was with my eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna include it. This is a lip palette. This is from Lipstick Nick. This is disgustingly old, but that's besides the point. I just feel like I don't use this ever. Like you can see, I barely dipped into like one shade in here and I probably used it like that one time and then never touched it again. So two shades, I use two shades. I love Lipstick Nick in general and her makeup looks are just, oh my God, they are so inspiring, but I just didn't feel like, like I had just, why did I get, the, why, why? In general, I would never reach for a lipstick palette. Like I just never would think, oh, where's my lipstick 
palette. Like, I would never do that. I would never do that. Oh my God, look, it's another lip palette. I don't know what's wrong with me. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. Also extremely crusty. Probably even crust. No, definitely not. The Morphe one definitely came out first. But it is extremely, extremely crusty. This is what it looks like. I literally used one shade in here. Like, why did I buy this? I feel like I just saw these shades and I was like, yes, yes, bitch. Give it to me. I just feel like this was unnecessary. Like, why did I buy this? I don't know. Peer pressure. And I always bought everything that Anastasia came out with up until recently. I, I mean, not recently. After the Norvina volume three came out and then there was like a fourth one and the minis, I was like, you know what? We're done here. We're done here. But I used to buy everything Anastasia came out with. So I guess that's why I bought this, but waste. So this next one is a ColourPop palette. And I feel like I really liked this when it came out. And I'm so over it now, it's like disgusting. This is the ColourPop Cute AF, no, Yes Please palette, which I still don't understand why it says Cute AF if it's called the Yes Please palette, but whatever. This is what the inside of the palette looks like here. Everybody went crazy for this because it was supposed to be a dupe for the Sunset palette by Natasha Denona, which I do have, by the way, and I don't love, if I'm being honest. This palette or the Natasha Denona one, I don't really love either of them. I feel like the formula is not wonderful in either one, but that's, yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of it. The formula is not great in here. And I just feel like these colors are extremely warm, which I like warm colors, but I just feel like I'm never going to reach for this palette. This was like ColourPop's first ever eyeshadow palette, if I'm not mistaken. And they've in improved, I was going to say informed wet. They've improved their eyeshadow formula so much since then. So I'm happy to keep buying ColourPop palettes. I just don't want this one. So remember when I said that peer pressure and FOMO gets me and I end up buying stuff that just makes no sense for me to buy because I know that I'm not gonna love them. So I did that twice. Like I said, I always buy whatever Anastasia Beverly Hills comes out with. So I bought these two eyeshadow palettes and like, why? Why? So the first one is the Norvina palette. I do not, I do not like this. I do not like. I do not like this palette. When I saw it was coming out, I was excited because I was like, Norvina is popping. If she's gonna come out with something, it is gonna be everything. And then when I saw this, I was like, wait, what? That's not everything. That's not everything. And I, I really don't, don't love the colors in here at all. It looks like I used it quite a bit, but I feel like I only used it maybe twice. Maybe twice. My issue with this is just the color story. It's just not my favorite color story in the world. I freaking, I hate this color soul. I hate it. For me, it throws off the entire palette. Like I just don't like it at all. But besides that color, I feel like the color story in here is just very almost pastel. It's not pastel, but like it's very light and like airy. And I just, that's not the kind of makeup that I like. I feel like we needed some type of depth in here and we really didn't get it. Like this is not even close to deep enough for me. So. I just feel like this was not gonna be for me and like all these light pink mauve shades, like I said, that's just not what I'm about. So I kind of knew I wasn't gonna like this when I picked it up, but still picked it up like a dumb dumb. I'm not done being a dumb dumb just yet because I also did that exact same thing with the Carly Bible palette. I also really like Carly and I feel like she is like, I feel like she just looks at her eyes and she has like a beautiful eyeshadow look and I'm like, what, how, how, what, how'd you do that? So I picked up her palette and literally, have never touched it. Liter you can see, I'm hoping the camera will pick it up. I have literally never used this palette. And I just, I don't, I knew this was gonna happen. I don't know why the hell I picked this up. It was peer pressure is what it was, okay, and FOMO. I feel like this kind of screams Carly, like this looks like her kind of eyeshadow palette. But for me, it's just like, it's, it's boring. I could care less about this eyeshadow palette. Could care less. Chai is okay, but I just, I don't, I don't feel inspired by this. I don't look at this and say, oh my God, like think of all the things that you could create. Like, no, there's like four and a half looks I feel like that you can create with this. I don't reach for this ever, literally ever. And I don't get excited to use this. And I just don't like the color story that much. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I wonder if Mama Danger will want this one. Probably not. She'll probably see the red and like run for the hills. <laughs> this next eyeshadow palette is another one that I really, really used to love. I used to love and abuse and you will be able to tell right now. This is the Lime Crime Venus palette. First of all, my mirror fell off. So I, I use this a lot. This is what the inside looks like. I really like the formula here and I used to really like these colors, but I just feel like we have so many 
better versions of this, if that makes sense. Like we have warm eyeshadow palettes that are better than this one. And I just don't feel like I need to keep this super bulky packaging just for like those few shades. And I actually, I think I have the Venus 2 here also. Would you look at that? It's the Venus 2. I think I did like the Venus 2 even more than the Venus 1. I'll show you them side by side. This one didn't lose her mirror though. <laughs> um, but I used to use them. Oh my God. Well, it's a good thing I decided I'm getting rid of this. Literally, this is what just happened. So I guess this one's clearly going to the garbage. This is the difference in the color stories here. I used to use these a lot together, especially, but I definitely liked this one better. But again, I just feel like I have better versions of everything that's going on in here. Like I don't, I just don't see a need to keep this. So I'm getting rid of this. I used to love this, this color and this color. These two together were like a match made in heaven for me, but I'm getting rid of them. So here they go. You're about to judge me. You're about to judge me because I have not decluttered this yet, but I swear I haven't been using it. So <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Oh my God, this palette is so old. I think the first tutorial that I ever, ever posted in 2014, please don't watch it, but I think I used this palette and it's the same palette. So what is that? Like way too old, seven years? way too old. I used to be so obsessed with this eyeshadow palette because I feel like it was like the first of its kind, like a rainbow eyeshadow palette that wasn't a thing. And I loved it so much because I obviously have always loved color. So this just excited me and just made me like want to play and do all these weird things. You can see I dipped into pretty much every single one of these eyeshadows several times. It's a mess in here, but this thing is just way too damn old. Okay. It's very, very old. Just know that this was the OG. This was the first love of my life. This was my favorite eyeshadow palette when everybody was like, oh my God, Naked 2 is so good. Naked 1 is everything. Naked 3 is so good. I was like, but wait, have you seen this? Have you seen it? Speaking of eyeshadow palettes that I once loved, you guys, it's, it's time. It is time. This is the Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette, the first one, the OG, that I was obsessed with for a very, very long time. You guys know this was my favorite eyeshadow palette for so long. I could not stop talking about this eyeshadow palette. And it's just, you know what, it's time. I just love the color layout of this. I love how versatile it is. I love that you can do pretty much anything with this. like. You could do any type of neutral look that you could ever want with this eyeshadow palette. You could amp it up with some of these shades over here. It just like at the time was exactly what I needed, exactly what I loved. My issue now is that I have so many all matte palettes with such great formulas that I don't really reach for this. I don't need this. I don't think that this is as special as it used to be, if that makes sense. And like I said, the formula is not fantastic in here anyways, so. It's time to go. Get ready, because you're gonna judge me now. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This is what it looks like here. I do have the other one, I think. The the regular spicy gingerbread, I think. I don't, I'm not even 100% sure, to be honest with you. But I found this the other day, and I was just like, first of all, when did I buy this? When? When? Because I never, ever used it, ever. Not even one time. This is what the inside looks like. I never used this, never. Literally never. I know people were crazy for these like these kinds of palettes, you know, all the palettes that are in this like um, tin situation, like the chocolate bar palettes, the sweet peach palette, the other gold, the gold bar, palette, whatever, whatever the palettes are called. All these Too Faced palettes that were in this thing, everybody was obsessed with. I don't know why that if I bought this, if I have the other gingerbread one, which I also feel like I've never used, but I did <laughs> and I never used it. It smells mad good in here, by the way. Oh my God, it smells so good. This palette was kind of a newer one to me. This is the NYX Lid Lingerie Eyeshadow Palette. I think I did a tutorial with this. If I did, I will link it up here. If I didn't, then I won't link it up there. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's an all matte, come on, bro. It's an all matte neutral palette and it's nice. I don't really love the formula in here. I feel like I expected it to be a little better than it really is. It's not as pigmented as I would like, so I just never reach for it. I think I used it one time and never reach for it again, and it's just sitting in there for no reason. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. This, this one, this one. This one is gonna make you guys wanna fight me. I feel it already. I feel the punches coming through the internet, but wait. This is the Bare Necessities palette by ColourPop. So look, wait, wait. I don't know what's the matter with me that I feel like I always need to buy all these 
palettes. This is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. Don't get me wrong. And I feel like the colors in here are like perfect for every day. But A, I never do everyday looks. So like why do I, why do I need this big old palette of neutrals? B, I have other neutral palettes that I prefer over this. And C, I've never used it. So like, why am I keeping this? This is another one that I am positive my mom will be obsessed with. So I'm excited to see what her reaction is when I give these to her. But for me, it's just not worth it. And I, I was really thinking like, maybe I do want to keep it. But I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep it. So yeah, that is it. Those are all of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm getting rid of. It's a lot. I said that's it, but it's a lot. It's a lot of palettes. I do have some that are still really old that I still have in my collection, even though I got rid of like a bunch of older palettes here. I still have like the Mi Vida Loca palette by Kat Von D. I'm probably never getting rid of that. I am sorry if you thought I was, but I, I don't think I'm ever going to do that. I have the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. Do you guys remember that palette? It's so old. I still have it. And I, I thought about getting rid of it and I was like, no girl, no, no. No. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos since it is kind of like a newer thing that I'm doing for my channel here. I'm a little nervous that you guys are not gonna like it, but I mean, let me know. If you don't like it, then I don't do it. It's very simple. Are there any eyeshadow palettes that you guys have in your collection that are like mad old and you're just like, I am not getting rid of this, never. Like, I feel like I just cannot get rid of some things. I posted on Twitter, actually. You guys should follow me on Twitter if you're not, which I'm sure you're not because I have like one follower, but I posted on Twitter that me and my expired makeup, we just have like a different kind of bond, okay? And it's not going anywhere. That's just what it is. By the way, if you guys like this makeup look, stay tuned, well not stay tuned, I probably posted that already. So I'll link up here the tutorial for this look. Very, very excited about this look. I don't know if you guys are too, but I am. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and maybe Snapchat, but maybe not. I'm gonna just stop saying Snapchat altogether because it's just like, for what reason? I don't do anything there. I mean, you can snap me if you want. I'll probably answer you, but don't expect me to post anything because I never do. I think that's all that I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. I'm like chilling over here. Like, can you see my leg is up here? I'm just like, but yeah, that's all that I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love the stick. What, 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 what?